the fields. David himself, right, was had a safek if he was a mamza, because because uh, the, the story goes on that that the Ishai uh, uh, sent away his wife, and uh, there was there was a thought that uh, that there was really the. Uh, the maid that was in the house, but really his wife came and changed places with the maids. It's a whole big cloud, a whole big story about David the Melech himself if he was legitimate. And from this we have the, the we have Mashiach. So we see that the whole kav, the whole line of 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 David ben uh, David ben Yishai of Mashiach of the redemption of Moshe Rabbeinu, it's all one big cloud around the redemption of the Jewish people. Why does it have to come like that? Why is everything cloudy about that? And this is, of course, was something that Moshe Rabbeinu could not understand. Why it had to be like this, and that's why he argued with Kadosh Baruch Hu, as we saw at the beginning. Yeah. Today we have big arguments. So. So there are actually two points that come out from over here. One is that the, the, the leader, Rav Kana writes down, that has to be Anav. He has to be modest. And there was no one more modest and Anav than Moshe Rabbeinu himself, as the Torah uh, bears witness to the fact. The point is, is, that, is that coming from such a family, you have nothing to, to, you know, to, to, to show a banner outside. Today, there's a lot of people who are looking for Yachasim. Uh, you know, only if like the Rebbe's son, I won't go out with anyone else. And uh, only if he's like the best, and he's his grandfather was a rav, and his this guy wrote this book, and his gaval to this. That's not such something. When people make a shit out of that's it. not and what I know that exactly. Who's your right, exactly. That's what people unfortunately look for. But you know, if David and Melech was around today, nobody would want to give him a shit up. Nobody would want to give him their daughter. Could you imagine? Nobody would give David and Melech their daughter. Say David and Melech, Safek Mamze. It's cloudy about him. Who is he? He's a legitimate child. Maybe not a legitimate child. We can't have him in the family. They would not marry David Amela. So this this is the this is the uh, path that we have over here. But this path, this path of the redemption, we find we find also in Bayit Shani, the beginning of the second temple period. We spoke a little bit about this last week. Koresh gives permission, non-Jew gives permission to the Jewish people to return to Eretz Israel. Very few come. The lowest of the low of society come. The, the important people stay in Babylon. They come back, they start rebuilding the base of Migdash. Immediately, Koresh stops permission. He stops permission. There's a famous saying that all those Jews who passed the Euphrates rivers could continue, and all those who haven't, they can't come back anymore. And then there's a stop order on the work of the base of Migdash for some 20 years, and the base of Migdash can't be built. I mean, just look what they went through. So if someone was looking at that time and saying, wow, Jews are coming back. This is the beginning of the Second Temple period. This is redemption. What type of redemption? A goy king gives permission. Then he doesn't give permission. Then the stop order. Then Nechamach comes. Ezra and Nechemiah. Nechemiah comes. Nechemiah comes and rebuilds the city. And they want to kill him. The, the, the neighbors over here want to kill him. And Ezra goes out to the other communities to try to bring the Jews. And what, what, this is what we saw last week. What does one of the communities say? This no. is not Me'et Hashem. This is not God's will that we should rebuild the second temple like this. Look what it's going through. Look at this redemption period. Look at this process over here. How could this possibly be God's will? This certainly isn't God's will. God's will is that someone will knock on your door in Muncie and no, say, no, no, Mashiach no, no, is here, come with us, and we'll go on a flying carpet back to Eretz no, Israel. No, everything no. miraculously will be built, and everything will be beautiful, and the sun will shine, and everything will be great in the day in, in the land so of Zion. They said it wasn't God's will because Korish was a good. Yeah, So there was many times, oh, but you see the process wasn't smooth. That's the point. In Egypt, the process wasn't smooth. smooth. The work became be harder. Yeah. In the Second Temple period, the process wasn't smooth. It was a rough and bumpy road, ups and, and downs. Why was he a guy? Why was he a guy? He was the oh. king of Persia, Korish. He was, born he was the so king of Persia. He was born. He, no, he wasn't Jewish. Was it Koresh. his father that visited? No. That's why he said he could have been like most. No, no, no. It wasn't connected to us at all. So the Gra the Gra writes in in uh, Kolator that this is exactly the way the process of redemption must come. And it, a confused uh, path that has ups and downs and is a slow process and a process that 
And it doesn't seem to many people could be the process. Today, when you look back over the last 60 years, you have the UN voting. And once again, the argument, who's the UN? They're the nations of the world We're waiting for God to come to give us the light, right? Waiting for, 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 the, for the guy to knock on the door. You see, there's many problems. And, and people like Moshe Rabbeinu, they don't see a straight path of redemption. And they're confused about it. They say this definitely cannot be the redemption. So the Gra writes in Kol Ator, Uledat Merosh, you have the person has to know from, from right away, from day one. Ki b'ikvot Mashiach, in the time of Mashiach, mikol tza yotze Yeshua, from all the troubles that before the Jewish people, comes forth salvation. It's like taking steps. You go down the path, there's a bump, but from that bump you come up and you go up two steps. Ve'eshua ba mitoch tzara, and the, and the, and the, the salvation comes dafka from the troubles. Dafka from the troubles. It's a time of troubles for, for Yaakov, but from these troubles will come the salvation. We know that there are three things that a person only acquires through hardships. One of them is Eretz Yisrael. A person who sits back and relaxes. That's not how you acquire not Torah, not Olam Haba, and certainly not Eretz Yisrael. We see that what we're going through today. Exactly. Get on your question. Yes. The Gra also asks that the, that the redemption is a process that happens gradually, meaning that we know the famous pasuk of Ani Hashem Shena. I am the Lord in its time, I will hasten it. I will hasten it in its time. So if, if I'm Israel merits it, the redemption will come speedily, quickly, beautifully. And if I'm Israel doesn't merit it, then the redemption will come will also come, but it will come through hardships, it will come through this long process that we are going through. So the Gra writes that this is the process, it goes, it's a very small and, 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 and gradual process. Therefore, one should start by any deed connected to the beginning of redemption, even, a sm even to a small extent, like planting a tree, is the beginning of the rebuilding of Yerushalayim. The Gra said that his greatest dream was to plant a tree in Eretz Israel. We know that he had an attempt to come up to Eretz Israel, but he was stopped. He couldn't make it. But he even something small, he, the smallest thing that you could do toward the redemption process. The main thing is Lola Jaesh. Not to be not to get discouraged. discouraged. Yeah. Not to get discouraged. Moshe Rabbeinu was discouraged. Moshe Rabbeinu in our parsha opens up. Moshe Rabbeinu is discouraged. Moshe Rabbeinu has a complaint before the Kaddish Baruch Hu. How could this be the process? The Jews are suffering. It's even worse now. And because of that, Moshe Rabbeinu wasn't Zohar to come into Eretz Yisrael. So there's a lot of complaints. We don't understand what's going on. We don't understand why the process has to be like this. And it could be that if I'm Yisrael Zohar, if I'm Yisrael would, 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 would follow the Torah totally, everything would go smoothly, there'd be no bumps in the roads, and everything would be great. But that's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. And to answer Dina's question, that it could still be like that, the Gra speaks about having both of these conditions at once, meaning also having Achishena and Ita at the same time, also having a swift redemption, and in its time, meaning there is, there is, right, there is a process where even though it's a slow redemption, but it's the slow redemption is made faster. How does the how does the slow redemption be made faster? But the Jewish people coming together and partaking of the process. For instance, for instance, if all the Jews, right, our brethren in Chutzlarts would pack their bags and take part of the process of redemption, the redemption road would be smoother. It wouldn't have to. We wouldn't have to go through so much suffering. If we have to depend on all the Jews in Chutzlarts. The truth is that it will get to one way or another, they will come here, whether they want to, whether they don't want to. And that's happening today. There's almost half of the Jewish population in the entire world almost is living today in Eretz Yisrael. Amen. And, it's, and it's today, you know, the Torah centers of, of, of Am Yisrael is in here in Eretz Yisrael. So it's happening. It's a process. It's taken 60 years. It's taken 70 years. It'll take another yes, 60 a years. small amount of time. For God, yeah, not for us. <laughs> but, but it will happen. And obviously, if they come and they partake in it, the process will come a lot quicker and a lot easier and a lot smoother. 
And a lot of the suffering that we go through is because of that, because the Jews don't pick themselves up and come here and partake with us. And that's the, that's the unfortunate thing. So just to summarize what we had today over here, and this is an unbelievable concept over here. It's a concept that unfortunately so few of us you know, live with and understand, is that even Moshe Rabbeinu didn't, didn't cop it. He didn't get it. That the process of redemption 